Hi everyone, Evan Alexander here with another Vectorworks quick tip tutorial. Today I want to talk about hybrid symbols. Now I hope that you're using symbols as part of your everyday workflow uh, for 2D. So for example, if we have this fabulous uh, piece of scenery here, and I uh, just come in and I say modify create symbol, and we'll call this Evan one, and then duplicate it a bunch of times. Um, this is great, and and so now you know if this is scenery or tables at a banquet or whatever we're working on, we have multiples now, right? If I double click on any of these and make change move this over here and we'll make it dark blue now everything else updates so please use symbols <laughs> um, it's great for any time you have multiples of any object okay and it doesn't matter which one you update uh, you can change any of them and they will all update as well this is also probably in your resource manager here uh, right here uh, and you can right click and choose to edit right here now this is 2d and that's great and uh, it, it works pretty much exactly the same for 3d um, so if we had a rectangle and we extruded this into a cube uh, that's great. We can grab this and we can say uh, modify create symbol and we'll call this Evan 2. And, uh, and so you can see here now this is a 3D symbol and so it, it works exactly the same way. I'm just going to hit command D to duplicate this a few times. And if I come in here and I edit the 3D component now, uh, I could come in here. Let's, uh, let's see, let's punch a hole in the middle of it surface goodbye and then we exit the extrude exit the symbol you can see that everything has updated so again symbols are great I want to talk specifically about hybrid symbols because I've shown you 3d symbols and I've shown you 2d symbols um, and so hybrid symbols is I know you're shocked a hybrid of of both of those <laughs> what does that mean so let's take a quick look um, so here we have uh, a nice uh, uh, a hybrid symbol of an 8 by 8 platform so uh, you can see here this is right 8 foot 4 foot so it's two 4 by 8 decks stuck together and if we click on this you can see that it says 2d 3d symbol so what does this mean I'm in top plan view and so when I look down on this, I'm seeing this nice kind of 2D geometry, super clean. If I were to switch from top plan to say right isometric, you can see that this is actually a, a much more complex model here. I'll go into OpenGL. So you can see it's some steel deck with some pipes, some cheese burrows, some casters, um, you know, pretty simple. But but when we look at the, um, the 3D from the top, this is what we get. And, and this would be no good on our ground plan. It, it's great that we have all the detail in there and that'll be good for elevations and for renderings and whatever we're doing with this model. But if I'm just making a nice ground plan, I, I wanna be able to have a nice kind of clean version of it. So this is what hybrid symbols do. They let you have 2D geometry when you're in top plan view. And then that 2D geometry disappears when you go into the 3D view. So this is great. It's not perfect, but it's great. For a long time, I used to keep kind of double sets of layers. I would have the whole show drawn as 2D, and I would have the whole show drawn as 3D. And what I didn't like about that workflow is that Anytime you change something, you have to do it twice. But even more annoying, anytime you moved something three inches stage left, you had to go through and remember to move it twice. And, and that just seems like, you know, prone for error. 
there's got to be a better way. So, so this is it. So how do we do it? How does it work? Let's go back here to our blank sheet. So um, you can choose to start with the 2D or the 3D geometry. It doesn't matter. You can also take existing 2D symbols and make them hybrids. You can take existing 3D symbols and make them hybrids. It's a, it's a pretty flexible system. So, um, so let's start out here. Uh, well, let's just start out with, I don't know, we'll do our usual, um, we'll do an eight by eight because who doesn't love a good eight by eight? I'm gonna center it up in the world again. Just to keep things nice and neat. And uh, now I will extrude this, let's say four feet. And then let's go ahead and make this a little more interesting. We'll add a circle and we'll extrude this eight feet. So here we have this fabulous rendering here uh, of this complex piece of scenery. So in top plan view, this is what we've got. So um, what I like to do is, uh, is group this stuff together. You, you absolutely don't have to do this, but I find it easier for me to kind of keep the 3D and the 2D grouped together while I'm creating it. So now I'm going to come in and I'm going to draw my 2D right on top of it. And so here we can go in and, you know, really customize this any way that we want. Maybe we'll up the line weight on this and uh, we'll grab this and maybe this is like light blue. Um, and so you can see that what I've done is I've just I've built the 2D right on top of the 3D. And uh, this is why I like to group it so I can easily kind of grab these things without grabbing um, you know, the 3D underneath it. So now I'm going to grab all of this together. So you can see I've got three objects. I've got these two rectangles, which I haven't grouped together, and then the group, which is the, the 3D. And now it's just the exact same process. I'm going to say modify create symbol, and we'll call this Evan 3. And uh, Everything default in here is is pretty good. I have world base units on here. The one you want to make sure you have checked is change 2D objects from layer plane to screen plane. And this is the important one because if the 2D stuff is set to layer plane and, and you don't have this checked, it won't actually create a hybrid. It'll just create a 3D symbol with your 2D geometry kind of floating around in it. Um, and so having this stuff in screen plane this is the kind of special sauce right here. So I'm gonna say, okay. You can see that we now have a 2D, 3D symbol. And so uh, wherever I move this around, the 2D and the 3D now kind of live together. So this is great. I do this for everything. So I'm still able to get nice, good, clean geometry out of this. Um, and if I want to edit it now, so here's the catch. This is why it's not a perfect workflow. You can only edit one at a time. And so you just have to be careful. Uh, this is a case where you have to kind of do the 2D and then you have to do the 3D. And you just have to make sure that things don't get like out of whack and out of alignment. So, um, so I'm going to double click on this to edit it. And now it's going to ask me, so like which one, maybe you've seen this dialog box for years and never really known what they're talking about. If you want to edit the 2D, you just say here, and now you're in. And so I can go through and, you know, maybe we want to make this pink and we can edit that. Or I can come through and I can edit the 3D and, um, you know, maybe this extrude wants to be, I don't know, instead of uh, eight feet, let's make it six feet. Um, so that's fine. And then you exit out and exit symbol and we're good life as we know it um the catch here right is just to be careful uh that you don't say oh okay you know what we're we're changing and i'm going to ungroup this now now that it's broken into two parts if you say oh i'm going to move the you know move this column over here and you exit the symbol whoop, look this is not lining up right so you just have to really you know kind of do your your due diligence okay 
if you want to kind of blow this apart and make it not a hybrid anymore, um, you can with Command K, which is uh, modify, convert, convert to groups. Here's what you need to know. Which view you're in when you run the command is what you're going to be left with. So if I'm in the 2D and I hit Command K, uh, and it's going to ask me if I want to convert sub objects. So if you have you know symbols inside of symbols, how far down the, the line do you want to kind of you know blow this stuff apart? So this is going to be different for you depending on your situation. Um, but if I say OK, so now I just have a group here of 2D. And you can see here that uh, actually the 3D, if we go into the flyover tool, is, uh, is gone. This is in screen plane, so it's uh, still facing me. Let's undo and get us back to this being a hybrid. And so if I go into the 3D view and now I hit Command K and I don't convert, uh, what I'm left with here is just the 3D and the 2D has gone away, right? So you just have to know that you can, um, you know, you can kind of unsymbolize them, but you have to make a, a choice, okay? Um, if you had a, let's say I have this and uh, let's create a symbol. This is just 3D. So I'm going to say modify create symbol. We'll call this Evan 4. And so now this is just a good old 3D symbol, right? It's a lighting instrument, it's a chair, it's, you know, something. And now I say, this is great, but now I want to make this into a hybrid. So that's fine. Double click and go into your 3D so that you're in here. And now, just like before, go ahead and draw your geometry right on top of what you're doing here. So I've got this. Right, I've just switched over to top plan view here, right? So the 3D is still hiding underneath there. Uh, and then, you know, kind of dial this in to taste, line weight, maybe we'll make it super fat, you know, why not? And then, um, now the trick is to make sure that these objects are in plain, you know, symbol definition. Thank you, Vectorworks, what does that mean? You want to change this to screen. So with these as screen, when you exit the symbol, it's going to say, whoa, hey, something's changed here. You are about to make this into a hybrid symbol because you're adding screen plane objects. Do you really want to do that? I absolutely do want to do that. So I'm going to say yes. And now we're into having a hybrid symbol. So that's it. So it takes a little bit to get used to this, but it, it will absolutely pay off for you. I, I, I literally do this for every piece of scenery on every show that I draw or walls or whatever, because I always want to have a 3D model and I want to be able to get a nice, beautiful, clean ground plan out of it. And these, since it's 3D, this will, you know, if you export this to Cinema 4D or some other piece of software, uh, it'll work totally fine. Just the 3D will go. If you do uh, a, like a section, a, um, a section viewport through this it will act you know exactly as you uh, would think so um, I make hybrid symbols of the theaters I make hybrid symbols of the scenery chairs in the audience everything across the board all right I think you get it that's it so uh, thanks for joining me and I hope to see you soon in the next tutorial bye